So here I'm back with part two of my Japanese expedition base set series. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, if you checked out part one, which I'm hoping a lot of you checked out part one, I'm, oh, there's like a 50-50 hollow pull ratio. So um, from, you know, Dark Explorers that will, that pretty much the new EX sets, uh, it's like a one in four hollow pull ratio is is the average, which uh, for, uh, it just it, it's disappointing if you get a blister pack and you're opening up you know so many packs and you just get uh, all non hollow rares. And sorry for the delay there for a minute, me rambling, but I'm trying to clear off some of the empty booster wrapper so um, the mountain, the small mountain of them, doesn't um, collapse on me. So we uh, not wheezing. This is a coughing. Dratini, Goldine, Dragonair. Oh, Dratini and Dragonair in one pack. Really, really cool because I love the artwork on both of them. And my rare? Hey, it's Ampharos. So I did pull that in the first part. So um, that is a duplicate. I've only pulled, let's see, three, six, seven duplicates so far. Which really isn't bad. Uh, there's about like over 30 hollows, over 30 rares. I think it's over 30, unless it actually is just an exact 30. Um, in this set, every hollow or every rare, however you want to see it, has a uh, equivalent of a non-hollow rare or a hollow rare. So same card, just one's prettier. Ghastly, Caterpie, Corsola, and Professor Elm. Uh, well, it's Professor Elm's training method, but you know. And my rare, Alakazam. And I know I've pulled him. Yeah, I did pull the non hollow rare of him. So there's another duplicate. Couldn't remember if I pulled him in a non hollow rare or a, uh, a hollow. All right, Diglett. I think that is a really cute Diglett, by the way. Golding, Caterpie, and Metapod. My rare. Oh, another Blastoise! Would have been cool if this was hollow, but another Blastoise! Again, I uh, definitely do not mind duplicates when they're duplicates of epic cards, or cards that are more epic than others, I should say, because, let's face it, this entire set, I think, is really, really awesome, but, um, yeah, that, uh, you know, a, a hollow Mewtwo duplicate, I think, is a little cooler than a hollow Polyrath duplicate. Polywag? Pikachu! I think that is the second Pikachu of all these packs. <laughs> Machop and a copycat. And my uh, rare is a Cloyster rare. So another duplicate. Um, kind of sad, actually, that all three of these packs so far have been uh, just duplicates. But, you know, we still have around 20 packs or so to go in this vid. So, oh, I don't know why I picked that one. I, it's that one that's the rare. Pikachu! Mareep, Ghastly, and Poliwhirl. My rare? Nice! I don't have this one yet, a Golem rare. I pulled the Hollow earlier, but I have not pulled the non-Hollow rare. So that's actually kind of an exciting pull. Um, really, at this point, anything that is different than what I already have is going to be an awesome pull for me. Because after, uh, yeah, the total pack number that I'm opening from this set is 55. And yeah, so that leaves a lot of, of a uh, margin of duplicity. No, yeah, I can't say margin of error, but margin of duplicity. That makes sense. Spiro, Oddish, uh, Ekans, and Pidgeotto. I don't think I've pulled many Pidgeotto either. And my rare? Oh, Tyranitar! I forgot this being in this set. non hollow rare, but still... Oh, like I said, um, pretty much anything different is going to be awesome, but Tyranitar is one of those Pokemon that I... I don't know, I just personally feel is uh, even cooler. And I was doing really good about getting these packs open. A little faster, but oh well. Quillfish, Krabby, Ekans, and Magmar. And my rare? Oh, excellent! The Vileplume Hollow! Don't have it yet! Um, not so impressive with that artwork there, but uh, still, 
different hollow. And uh, yeah, because of the uh, the trainer lock vial plume in the current format, I do have a little little uh, particularness preference, whatever you want to say, for, towards vial plume. Hoppip, Dratini, Meryl, and Energy Restore. My rare, another Dragonite Hollow. Uh, like I said, if I have to pull duplicates, I'm fine with them being a duplicate. Well, I'm fine with them being duplicate hollows, period. But I'm fine with them being duplicate awesome cards. Um, yeah, Dragonite is another one I would classify as a amazing duplicate awesome. Or awesome duplicate. Yeah, let's say that right. Awesome duplicate. Oddish, Golden, Meryl, and Pokemon Nurse. And my rare. Ooh, Butterfree! Hollow. And oh, it was so cute. It's got a little Butterfree in the background. I think that's maybe another, even a third Butterfree. Really far off with these itty bitty little tree looking things. Really cool card. And again, one of the best parts of it is. It's something I don't have yet. The more non-duplicates I pull, the less I have to trade for. And that's the less I have to keep up with. That's the biggest part. Pupitar. Yeah, Pupitar. Or is it lar no, lar Larvitar? Yeah, it's Larvitar then Pupitar. Larvitar. I think. <sighs> I don't even know anymore. Mareep. Ekans. Hey, I think that's the first Machoke. I don't know why I saw the, all these Machops and I n never registered that, hey, there's going to be a Machoke too, which means there's probably going to be a Machamp. And my rare? Excellent! Skarmory non-hollow. We have the hollow and now we have the non-hollow. Perfect! Oh, this is such a good opening. Um, all, all these packs just... So good. I love this set. Um, yeah, five cards in a pack and, and getting a rare from every single one. A hollow and 50% and of them, pretty much. Oh, this is great. Abra, Diglett, Mareep, and Pupitar. Yeah, it's Pupitar. Pupitar's coming to me. And my rare? Oh, for Ralligator. So, pulled the hollow earlier. And now I have the non-hollow rare. Excellent. Just so many. I, I'm, I really love these Japanese openings because I know that all of these cards are going to my collection. And they're not just going to my collection as in, oh, I'm swapping them out with cards I already had in my collection just to make them gem mint. Don't get me wrong. It's really cool doing that with English stuff and really cool to experience the opening with the English stuff. But all these Japanese things, it's like, oh... I don't have that at all. Uh, that's, yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. There's not even a question about it. Geodude, Mareep, Magikarp, and Master Ball. And my hollow, or <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying hollow, my, my rare is a Raichu. So I do have a, yeah, I, do, I did pull a non-hollow Raichu earlier. So that actually is a duplicate. Um, I want to say that I... I don't know if I've pulled... No, I think I have. I was thinking that maybe I hadn't pulled all the trainers and supporters from this set, but I think I do, just barely, but I think I, I did. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure I've got a good shot at the common uncommon set. There's there's quite a few. Hoppip, Pikachu, Cubone, and Energy Restore. My rare? Hey, it's a Magby. That is a duplicate, though. Yeah, there's no way though that I'm completing either a rare or a hollow rare set from these packs. So, um, yeah, if anyone's got some stuff from this set to trade, be awesome. Ponyta, Machop, Vulpix, cute Vulpix, and Dual Ball. My uh, rare. Hey, I don't have this one yet. I, I know I've pulled the hollow, but I don't think I've pulled the non-hollow rare. Excellent. 
another, oops, didn't mean to grab two packs there. Uh, even though, I mean, he's not the coolest artwork, and yeah, I mean, really, our box always the bad guy in the show, so, um, you know, not the best pull as far as pulls go, but hey, like I said, anything different right now is very welcome. Quillfish, Arbok, Corsola, Dragonair, oh, I just love the artwork on the Tratini and Dragonair from this set, and my rare, Nine Tails. I think that is the first Nine Tails, either rare or hollow. Really cool looking Nine Tails too, with the bamboo stalks on either end. Um, yeah, Nine Tails is just one of those like very elegant, beautiful, flowy Pokemon. Very, very cool. I think that is only the second Hound Door of these packs. Oddish, Caterpie, and I'm thinking this is Reversal. I, I, I questioned this at the beginning of the opening, too, in the last part, I guess. Uh, but I think that's Reversal, and oops, didn't mean to knock the camera there. My Rare, it's a Blastoise Hollow! Woohoo! So, Blastoise, oh man, I'm just. Yeah, of loose packs, the chances of me pulling, you know, duplicates of crappy hollows or crappy er hollows or it just, oh, there's so many chances of, of these things going wrong. Oh, I'm just, I'm so happy with these pulls. I'm completely exhausted. Um, and I'm trying to stay quiet so I don't wake up everyone else up with my cheering. But, um, oh, these are just... This is, yeah, this is a really long day. The tournament I had yesterday, I did, like, I did really well at the first tournament this weekend, did terrible at the one yesterday, and then had to work for over eight hours, so coming back to this is, coming, coming home and being able to open up something this epic and pull such good stuff from it is really cool. Meowth. Love Meowth. Houndor. Oddish. And Magmar. And my rare is another art buck, so... Eh, that's a duplicate, and oh, we're getting near the end. We've only got three more packs left. So, three different ones, three different ones. Something I haven't pulled yet. I mean, I have a feeling I'm still going to have to trade for probably like ten non-hollow rares, ten hollows, and I'll go through all of that stuff when I go through the, my, my recap vid, and I really need to update my once list with all this stuff. I just have so much to do. Oh, Clefairy, Dratini, Goldeen, and Machoke. And my rare. Oh, that works. I don't have a Dug Trio yet. And that's such a cool looking Dug Trio. Very simple. Um, but I think that's what I like about it. Just very simple. Coming out of some, some sand, some dirt. Um, yeah, I don't, I mean, I saw so many Diglett. It just, again, like with the Machokes, like I haven't pulled them a champ yet. But I, I'm sure it's in here. Um, Actually, I just realized there's a char there's Charizard in this set, and I just and I knocked the camera again. I did um, 55. Well, I guess 53 packs so far, and we haven't hit a single Charizard. But we got the Blastoise, we got some Venusaur, we got the other three starters. So hey, maybe one of these last two packs will have the Charizard. Uh, Sheldon, Quillfish, Clefairy. And Kadabra, only the second Kadabra, I think, of this of these packs. And my rare? Oh, a Mew. I forgot about Mew. Oh, there's just so many. I want more packs. I want more of this set. Oh, just so cool. Mew. And a hollow. Now, I'm sure you guys noticed that, but a Mew hollow. So, I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. Charizard is epic, but so is Mew. Oh, the only thought, my only thought in my mind is that, you know, having to, uh, you know, because Charizards are so collectible, uh, that means it's going to be a pricier card, so that's going to be a pricier card to finish with this set. Only downside, Pupa Larvitar, <laughs> Magikarp, Caterpie, and Tech Machine 1. My, uh, oh, this is my last rare. So here we go. Last rare of the 55 packs of Japanese base set expedition. Ooh, 
Hey, it's a hollow. Um, do I have this yet? Uh, I feel like I've pulled this already. But still, cool to end the the, the packs on on a hollow pull. So, all right, uh, I've got a lot of sorting to do, and oh, it's like 4.30 in the morning. So, let's get some sorting done, and uh, let's see exactly how far I got to completing this set. So, here we go with my Incomplete Japanese Base Set Expedition Series. So, the order of these cards are completely wild compared to everything we've seen so far. Uh, we start off with the commons, then the uncommons, then non hollow rares, and then hollow rares. And then within them... Um, Within the common section, instead of going by alphabetic order, we go by type. So these are all the commons with grass, fire, water, lightning, psychic, uh, fighting, colorless, and uh, one dark. And then with metapod here, we start with the uncommons with uh, grass, fire, water, missing... Um, the one Pokemon uncommon that I'm missing is a number 37 Water Jinx. Um, threw me off there for a minute when I, I actually made it, this video twice was I thought it was a Psychic Jinx and so I went back through the cards and made sure that I hadn't just missed a Water Jinx but um, don't have that one. And then we go with Lightning, Psychic, Fighting, Colorless, and then our Trainers and Supporters. So I'm missing number 51 Energy Charge uncommon. Number 54, Mary's Impulse, also uncommon, so only missing three uncommons from the common uncommon set, so not bad, uh, especially for loose packs. There's all of the rest of the trainers and supporters, and with Venusaur here, we start with the rare. So, I'm missing Butterfree, Vileplume, um, Meganium, Charizard, Typhlosion, this page is pretty cool because it's all complete except for that um, Typhlosion. Pichu, Gengar, Mewtwo, Mew, Machamp, so these are all uh, still non hollow rares, Pidgeot, Clefable, Dragonite, and then with, um, with the hollows, we start right here with this uh, Venusaur that I don't have yet, with the hollow Venusaur, uh, Charizard, Ninetales, Rapidash, um, Oh, Magby. Magby goes here. Um, that's what it is. A really awesome Blastoise Hollow, too. Just wanted to point that out again. Kingler, Raichu, Alakazam, Dugtrio, Machamp, Fero, and Tyranitar goes right there. So, all in all, I think I'm missing 12 Hollows and 13. Uh, non hollow rares, so definitely not bad considering everything. So, we're just going to do a little slow flip through just so everyone can see what's, uh, you know, what, what I have of the set so far again. Uh, this is really an amazing set. Um, I'm hoping to be able to, you know, find some trades, and if not, hopefully I can find some good deals and get some good sales to finish off this set. So, now let's look at the stuff that I have for trade. I have six hollows, including two Polyrath, and the most epic ones I think are these three right here, Dragonite, Mewtwo, and Gengar. And then I have a little over a page of non-hollow rares, including Blastoise, such a cool looking Blastoise, uh, and Raichu uh, and Alakazam as well are pretty awesome. And then one little Arbok there at the end. So not too much up for trade as far as hollows and rares go. And of course I've got tons of commons and uncommons, so uh, you know just PM me if there's anything specific that you want. For the most part, I did pull duplicates of, of a lot of stuff. Obviously, I don't have a complete common and a common set, but, um, you know, I do have quite a bit. So, uh, my once list is on thecatsmeowth.com. If you don't have anything I'm looking to trade for, I'm always willing to sell. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow's um, pushback because this was a two-part video. Tomorrow's Wednesday, which is typically an EX series day, is going to be a Wizards of the Coast day. And I'm opening up something really... Uh, yeah, I, could, I, I thought I'll just say uh, something really epic as kind of an apology for having to delay things a little bit. So I definitely, definitely recommend everyone tune in for tomorrow. You will not be disappointed.